Alrighty YouTube, um, we're going to make a Thursday update here. This is going to be kind of uh, updates as to what's going on around here and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Hudson Mills and uh, how my tractor's hauled up. So I'll start with the 216, it's doing good. Just uh, i got to throw, the, uh, throw it on the charger because the key got left on and the battery's dead. Other than that, doing pretty good. New deck drive belt on there and it works well. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully now that we got the grass uh, knocked down a pretty good amount, and uh, if it doesn't, uh, if the rain slows down, it should uh, it should be good to go. So Cummins, I don't know why I'm aiming the camera in the bed, but Cummins, um, haven't touched it. My brother's still getting, he's getting parts for it, so it should be running. Hoping by, uh, oh, don't mind my dog, but. Hopefully, uh, we're hoping by August to have this one done. As you can see, she's, it's obvious that she's been sitting in here a while. She's pretty well covered in dust. That's been in my videos for a long time. The tires and rims are off because my brother actually sold them to a, a buddy of mine who's got a 07 Cummins that uh, he, he wanted the tires and they're all the same. So, this obviously, you know, from 04 to 07, and this one's an 04. So... 6.9, uh, haven't touched it in a while, but it uh, probably fire up. Might take a little bit, but it'd fire up. I'm not going to do a cold start on it. These are just some old, uh, I think these are just the old tires that were on this truck before my brother got new ones. I'm not sure what these rims are off of. These look like, uh, they look like third gen rims, I don't know. They're just old tires. But, uh, yeah, that's just... That's pretty much it as far as stuff around here goes, and uh, I guess I'll talk about the uh, aftermath of uh, Hudson Mills next. Turn the screen around here so you guys can see me. So pretty much the aftermath of uh, Hudson Mills is, um, the story goes, all the tractors held up pretty good. Um, SS-16 started giving me some fits, um, I think, uh, the spark plugs are filed again, and it didn't really, I didn't really run it that much because the starter wouldn't stay in place, so, I mean, I ran it the entire weekend without any issues with the starter, but, uh, I mean, it just, I think, uh, with the combination of that uh, valve going out of adjustment and all the smoking it did and whatnot, I think it uh, filed those plugs out pretty bad. But uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, I'm going to be looking for a new motor for it. Um, I was running it and uh, I noticed I got a lot of blow by on uh, cylinder two. Actually, I just that whole motor just has a lot of blow by in general, and you know what that means. For any of you engine guys, it, uh, she's got low compression, and uh, just when you're driving it, the motor just it just it just doesn't feel like it has all the balls it should. So I think it's time. I don't know the the motor I think was run pretty hard before I got it. You know the tractor itself was just beat to shit when I got it. You know if you guys remember some of my old videos, maybe on my other channel, I got videos of it up of it over there. You know, it, uh, you know, a bunch of different colors, it was rusty, and didn't run right, barely would start, you know. It runs about the same, but I got the starter situation figured out, so it turns over much better. But it, uh, it definitely took a beating when I, uh, before I got it. I think, um, one thing I know, it, I, I don't know this for sure, but uh, I think when the, the previous owner had it before me, because he said he was mowing his lawn with it, and uh, it just died. And when I went to uh, go and do my first uh, carb tuning on that one, uh, they put the wrong main body gasket in there. And it uh, wasn't flowing the right amount of fuel. So I'm pretty certain he was mowing it with it choked. So it also had no spark when I got it, but uh, fixed that. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much leaves it to where it's at now. It had the brass float upgrade when I got it, so I didn't have to do that. I put a new main body gasket in it and tuned it up real nice, and then as far as carb goes, that one had no problems. Uh, the rest of the issues, I think, were just, uh, 
from the uh, the valve going out of adjustment and the fact that that motor is just tired. It's uh, it's on its last legs and uh, it's time for a new one. So looking for a 16 horse BFMS Onan. Um, I don't want it to smoke. I pretty much want the motor to be in perfect shape. You know, no smoke, no knocking. You know, good compression, and whatnot. So. Um, I'm also looking for uh, if anyone has like an old uh, Onan starter. It doesn't have to work. It just has to have, you know, it just needs to have all the, you know, be there. You know, like all the parts and whatnot. I need to be on it because I got a guy who can rebuild starters cheap. Um, I think he said like at the most it would be 60, 60 bucks. It only costs like 40 bucks to get um, my starter rebuilt, and all it really needed was. Uh, some bushings and now my starter on the GT18 cranks over really really fast so I'm gonna be uh, looking for uh, a good one for the SS16 for rebuild or if the motor comes with it I'll just have it rebuilt and uh, go from there um, as far as GT18 goes um, the starter on that one's working good turning over really fast um, the carburetor Still needs a little bit of tuning. I think it could use a cleaning. I mean, it, it did sit for like, oh god, it sat from November up until like last week. And that's probably been well over six or seven months that it sat with a uh, broken starter. And uh, before that, the carburetor started acting up. So I, I played with the screws a little bit, got it to run a a decent, but it could use a cleaning. Um, and I burnt out a freaking, uh, a headlight. Yeah, I burnt out a headlight, unfortunately. So, my proposed upgrade is a set of LEDs. And I think the SS16 is going to get LEDs too, just because I love LEDs, and they're the better way to go. At least for that application. So, Suburban 10, that one did good. That one needs a little bit of carb tuning, not much. But, uh, other than that, that one ran good, fired right up. Um, all the lights work on that one still, charging system, everything works on that one perfectly. So nothing much to report from that one. Like I said, I'm just going to tune the carburetor up a little bit. I put the new spark plug in it, that helped a lot. And uh, all of them, what I did for all of them is I got, uh, I found a place that sells uh, boat gas, which it's a non-ethanol uh, 91 octane uh, gas. So I got that since I live by a lake. Well, I don't live by a lake, but Lake Erie, uh, it's not too far out from, uh, not too far out from this place. So, go figure, there's boats and whatnot, so gas stations sell uh, boat fuel for them. So that's what I'm running in uh, all my tractors now, at least. This one still just has regular premium in it, which is still better than what, you know, than just the crappy, you know, cheap stuff that could be ran in this, but, uh, Yep, all of them are running non-ethanol boat gas now. That's probably going to help things tremendously. You know, take it easy, you know, easier on my carb and whatnot, and just easier on the motor in general. So, but I think I'm going to end cut this video short. Um, I'll have one. I got one more video of uh, Hudson Mills that you'll see before this one. It's currently uploading as we speak right now. And uh, I'll go ahead and talk to you guys all later. Like I said, sorry for the long video. It just uh, I figured I'd tell you guys what uh, went down as far as the Hudson Mills trip goes and what needs to be done. So you probably won't see the SS16 for a while because uh, we're just going to keep uh, working on that one. That one's pretty much an ongoing project and uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated as we go along with it. And uh, I think that's going to go ahead and conclude this video right here and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.